bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, it is so good to be seeing y'all again. I feel like I have been gone for quite a long time. Um, I had to have my first ever root canal last Thursday. And I think I actually did a vlog on this channel, like a little tea vlog, that I have been battling my teeth now for like two months, three months. I don't know. I'm gonna do a tea vlog update, I think, on my main channel, Graveyard Girl. But oddly enough, my tongue is still a little numb. So if I look puffy, if I sound funny, you know why. <laughs> Today, I have a huge, invisible to you guys, box from Amazon Japan. I feel like it's been a really long time since I have done an Amazon Japan hurl haul. But there were some very, very special items that I had been waiting until the products like launched on um, like June, June-ish, June something, the beginning of June. Um, and so I had like a bunch of my staples and things I already wanted to order. But then when the special items dropped in June, which you guys will very shortly see, I pulled the order and I made the order. Um, a lot of my favorite stationary items and sometimes like the weird and interesting interesting beauty items that I like to test out from Japan. You can get them like so much cheaper on Amazon Japan than other websites like Japan Trend Shop I've talked about before. They have a lot of variety, but it is like $300 to ship from there. Um, so that's why I started shopping on Amazon Japan. However, it is like the smartest if you bundle a bunch of items that you want and like ship them all at once. I find that the shipping fee is a little bit lower. But but I did get some heavier items, so shipping was still like a little bit pricey, but I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember exactly how much. Um, so I'm also hoping everything survived. I'm hoping everything is here because I'm sure I will show you guys the box at the end, but the box came very, very grossly. Anyway, you guys, let me see if I can gather everything at once because, oh, this is, oh, this is a new one. Oh, okay. Um, I have talked about these so many times. I actually discovered this product on um, jet pens. Ugh, that one's gonna take some time. These notebooks, if you can ever get your hand on one of them, they are just, so amazing. The greatest notebook I have ever like discovered in my entire life, <laughs> which I know is saying a lot, but you guys like, I feel like I'm always in my life like notebook jumping. It's kind of like makeup or foundation or eyeshadow. Like I like to devour things. I'm constantly liking to try something new. So I feel like I'm chronically never finishing anything ever. Like I don't know if I've ever hit pan on a product in my life because I'm just constantly wanting to try something new. Same thing with like notebooks and pens. Most of the time I'm wanting to try something new. These you guys, I write forwards, backwards, upside down, filling each and every single page of this magical notebook, which I probably forgot to tell you guys. It is Aqua Drops. That is the name of it. I'm trying to remember the literal brand, um, but you can find them on jet pens if you don't want to do um, Amazon Japan orders. They come in multiple sizes. I got Dogman hooked on them as well, so I got an orange one and a blue one. And I got some yellow ones. I tried to get colors I have never gotten before. Uh, you guys know, usually I get everything in this color. I am like a fuchsia magenta girly, but I tried to branch out a little bit cause I've had like a thousand fuchsia ones. So I was like, mm, do something different. So I got some yellow ones and a bunch of blue ones and like just everything. I even got a special hole punch so that I could add to these. Y'all, why am I talking so much about this? The, um, these like pull apart. They're so easy to clip back together. Like the paper, the writing experience. It's just 10 out of 10, like the most amazing notebook. Lihit Lab, that's the brand. Um, so that being said, there is a whole Aqua Drops by Lihit Lab line. And another thing that I have been loving is these little, folio books. I'm not exactly sure what 
you, like what it, what is their proper name? I don't know. But instead of having page protectors, you just have this little folio and you can fill up. I think there's like a hundred pages in here. Once again, I got another one like this, a yellow one. Um, oh, something else new. Um, orange. Yes. And a blue one. Yes. And a clear one. Yes. So these are honestly really expensive. They're only about like a dollar to two dollars and 19 cents each. So that's why I order so many of them when I'm placing an Amazon Japan order because each one is like two dollars versus if I run out of them, um, I'm going to be paying a lot more than two dollars to ship them. And you guys, I absolutely like, especially since I started collecting the, um, stationary pages from Japan. Y'all, I have used and reused this folio like 500 times. I used to type up, like I play this game on my daily snap where I do a thing called closet challenge. And then I would like type out all of y'all's requests for me to find in my closet and then highlight the questions that I answered. So, but then I just like used that paper and left it in there and started layering. Like, remember we did this like stationary haul video? Yes. So that is why I got um, a huge selection of them this time is mostly I want to take my stationary bundles that I've been getting off of Baiyi and putting them in these folios so they're easier to see like my collection and my favorite like papers and stationaries that I want to use. All right, you guys, moving on. Um, these are two new things that are also by the Lahit Labs brand. I'm very curious, like, what's the difference? Because at first I, like, literally just thought this was another aqua drops um but this section selection is called cube fizz very very similar feeling to the aqua drops so this is actually um like the folios i just showed you guys except for this is like refillable you can buy packages like i didn't know how much i was gonna like this i remember this listing now so you can just buy these like separate page protectors with this like separate I almost called it a piercing and you can add to it. It doesn't really seem like you get a lot of pages right now. I'm going to say it feels like maybe like 15. So like 30 pages maximum if you use front and back. Um, but I am, I'm very curious. Like why are some called aqua drops? Why are some called cube fizz? I don't know. Um, and next we have a cube fizz. This does say clear book with 30 pockets. So I just branched out. I got one of each cube fizz. That's so weird because this is like kind of the same thing but different. Like it's another you can add to it. So this is like 60 sheets because it's 30 pages front and back. What's going on here? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. Um, all right, you guys, moving on to a beauty item that I've wanted to do. Does this thing really work for for a very long time? Once again, I first did see this product quite a while ago on um japan trend shop but oh my god i think they were charging like 80 dollars for this and i think i paid like 22 on amazon japan but it says dry your hair quickly and enjoyably pasta towel it kind of reminds me of that item that was to curl your hair that i tested a million years ago it's called like the octo curl i think you like put it on your head and then there was like eight things and you like twisted it around. Do you guys remember that? Anyway, pasta towel. Let's try it. Kind of was giving me flashbacks to the um, gloves. Do you guys remember that? Like the hair drying, like as seen on TV, gloves. Wow. Um, how about another stationary item? Um, I actually saw these on Baiyi, but they were never available. Like, it's so weird. They were like showing me that the listing was on Macari, but anytime I found anyone selling them and clicked on it, they were like, the item is sold. Very strange. I still need to do an entire how to shop on Baiyi instructional video because I know so many of y'all are interested in that and I promise I will do it. I'm like typing down a bunch of like little notes. But anyway, you guys know I have been loving the phone straps and charms and everything. And so these are two teeny tiny little pins. They almost remind me of like that super viral one we just tested out or maybe like Dr. Grip almost. They kind of have that like vintage feel. Now the only downside was uh, you could not select which color option of pin you were gonna get. 
and I kept seeing like really cool like orange ones, pink ones, blue ones. Um, they did send me like this charcoal gray black color, which normally when there is a color selection, well, you know what? First, lately I've been getting fuchsia magenta. Secondarily, I would normally pick black, uh, but this time I kind of wish I would have gotten like translucent orange or something, but I'm fine with it. Mostly I wanted the pen, but one of them is a pen. One is a mechanical pencil and they are both like on ye old phone strap charms y'all what is this camera focusing on because it is not my face um okay how about something which is a mystery even to me training tube what did i buy what's a training tube um i feel like this it's not it's not i feel like i know that a lot of times when i'm shopping on amazon japan that's when i like to get things that shouldn't be on amazon but yet they are oh my god yeah you put these in your foot. You like grip onto this with your foot and then you hold on to the ring and you give your toes a pull. Why? Why would you do that? I don't know. But we're gonna find out together um, things that shouldn't be on Amazon and yet they are. Yes, a training tube. I think I got the um, gentle toe training tube. It was kind of one of those things where like different colors of the product meant different resistance strengths. So I got baby purple toe training tube. Um, another thing that shouldn't be on Amazon and yet it was um, this singing microphone. You can practice karaoke, scream into it. It's supposed to be like a multi-purposeful product. Now, why you would connect it to your own ear and then scream, you know, I don't know. Like you just are gonna be hearing your own screams. I don't know, you guys. Y'all are gonna have to like stay tuned and um, find out how this this goes voice exer wait can y'all see that voice exer voice exer i know they mean exercise but it's still just kind of funny needs labo oh uh yeah i feel like this is the brand it is the brand labo yeah I've tried other weird products from them before. I feel like the inflatable notebook, which I wish I had never gotten rid of that. Um, there was like an inflatable school notebook and I got that. I'm pretty sure that was from um, Labo as well. You guys, two of these, what's in them? Because I don't know. And it seems to, well, it does say, but unfortunately I cannot read Japanese. Y'all, I really, really wish that I could. Um, and I'm just like tearing open this box because I don't even see scissors in here, you guys. Um, I've been cleaning in here, but I guess I've been cleaning up like a lot of useful stuff. Oh, you know what? Ah, I forgot. I have this little thing from like my first ever Timu haul or maybe Cheap Chick sent me this. Um, I don't remember, but what is this? It does not. <laughs> M-L-M-L. Oh my god, did I order the same thing twice? Oh, mewing lift. <gasps> Y'all, did I accidentally put the same thing in my cart twice? Did I get two mewing lifts? I wanted to try like mewing for things that shouldn't be on Amazon. Oh my god. Y'all, it has wings. Look at that. It's like a... What's the Quidditch thing? I think I accidentally, I think I've done a dumb thing. So we're gonna try mewing and it comes with like a little retainer case, amazing. Did I get, it really looks like this. They either like accidentally sent me to or I accidentally ordered to. See, that's the only downside of like putting stuff in your cart for months. Yeah, let's mew twice, you know? Um, why did I do that? I, I have to like check my receipt now. <sighs> At least I think it was only like $7. So I only made like a $7 boo-boo. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show y'all the thing that I had to wait months and months for it to come in stock. It's very special. Um, Dogman and I started collecting these like a million years ago. He used to buy them for me at Epcot Japan at Disney World when we would go, Pickles the Frog. But for some reason, they do not sell Pickles the Frog items there anymore. They kind of did away with like the cute random nonsense and like brought in more, um, much to my dismay, like more character, um, like Nintendo or like Animal Crossing, which don't get me wrong. I love Nintendo. I love Animal Crossing. Very cute, great and fine. But I miss like this kind of like randomness, you know? So. Pickles the Frog. 
and they just launched like a whole new collection of like Parisian, French kind of Three Musketeers essence. So I actually got one new pickle frog and then I got, well, I, you know what? I won't stop there, but this is the first one I'll show you. This was one that was like particularly part of the French collection and he's 30th anniversary. He's a freaking court jester frog. Look at how magne mag mag magnificent, magnificent he is. Ah, they're so cute. It has honestly been a super long time since we have gotten a pickles just because I like for them to come out with like the super unique collections. Like normally we always get like the Halloween one because they come in like very very different costumes but I don't like to collect the ones that are just like plain colors anymore because we pretty much have like every color of the rainbow so they have to be like dressed in a super special costume or something um but we did get this little guy and then we got two costumes because they had a musketeer costume look at him look at him in his little hat and the uniform has the Eiffel Tower on it there were honestly like so many of these costumes that tempted me but he has little boots and look at how cute they are I hope y'all can see the little like notched design and then he has a little hat with a feather in it how adorable and then he has the whole little outfit uniform so cute right um and then they had a knight and uh, we already have a like just plain green pickles so i thought this would be perfect um so once again he has the little silver boots so and then he has his helmet and it has a p on the front for pickles and this is just like little red faux fur so adorable and then this is actually just like a tunic and look at how cute and metallic it is i almost want to say the last like super special pickles items we got were when the olympics was in japan they had little pickles like medals gold silver and bronze they came in a little set so cute and once again like these little accessories they're only like six or seven dollars i think so once again they just really get you on shipping that's it um all right last two pickles items i got these little overalls which i thought were just too cute for the summertime and they say pickles the frog on the little overalls and right now like the legs are cuffed but these are like actual denim which that's nice and i think this is oh my goodness like it actually buttons like the buttons are real i thought it was gonna be velcro last but not least you guys i could not resist pickles the car mechanic frog <laughs> like he's too too cute and i'm pretty sure when i actually ordered this one he was on sale some like i had been mulling oh god he looks like he's trying to jump out of his overalls um but i had really thought about getting this little guy for a super long time and then i was like placing an order already and i think he was like i ordered this at the time where amazon was doing well it kind of seems like they're doing that a lot now like the limited sale and so i think like literally the day i was placing this order he was on a limited sale now i'm about to say something real dumb um because this is an edwin collab like it has this brand on it named edwin is that not like a train thing am i making that up edwin train does that mean anything to you and also i kind of thought you know this was just a another good green frog to have in our collection to put the little clothes and costumes on plus he like came with his own clothes already very cute yeah this is another one of those like goofy mouth exercisers. I am trying these things all the time for things that shouldn't be on Amazon, yet they are, and also on my daily snap. Like people have a lot of interest and a lot of fascination in these things. I really do not know that absolutely any of them work. I kind of go into this like just thinking, oh, this is like something really goofy, but I feel like I try products like that all the time, like just, just for the giggles, you know, just for the online giggles. 
because it's just once again it's like it's a, it's like a five dollar gag gift you know um and last lastly i think i should do like an asmr of this item i had one of these a century ago i remember like when this first was a thing it was kind of like tamagotchis you know where like first you would hear like tamagotchis a virtual pet in japan and then like two years later we finally started to get them in the states this is kind of the same thing it's sold as eternal bubble wrap it's like a little keychain they they like used to they honestly in this listing put them like side by side with this other keychain that now i think you can even get on like timu and wish and aliexpress and whatever it's a keychain and it feels like your forever popping bubble wrap. Now the one that I've had in the past and tried, it's kind of definitely more like a novelty item. It's not like super realistic or anything. And there's batteries in it. And so it does make like a clicking sound, but it doesn't really sound like you're popping bubble wrap so much as like it's making like a robotic clicking noise. But they put that side by side with this and they said that was from the early 2000s. Meet the new and improved version and here we have it. I'm gonna wait to open this until I have bubble wrap, which I shockingly don't have any of right now. And I'm gonna compare. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna do this as a short, I think. I'm gonna unbox this and it's called something air. But we're gonna see, you know, real versus fake bubble wrap, which one's better? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, that is it. Now I just have this empty box. So I will show you guys, like, look at that. Like it's literally hanging on by a thread. Look, look at that. Ugh. I will link y'all to everything I can in the info box down below. Some of it will probably be Amazon affiliate links. I think some of these items you can get from just like normal Amazon here in the States. Um, and maybe some of it I'll even be able to link you guys like on the YouTube shopping thing. So just check in case there's anything you're curious about. Um, I will try and link you guys to everything in the info box down below. Anyway, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and until i see you guys again which is going to be very very soon stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery um i love you guys and i'll be back bye